Hello everybody, my name is Ketemoir, welcome back for another video of Journey of Wrestling. We're going to continue this series, boys. We are doing so good right now. I mean, we've got 3.3 million uh, followers or fans, whatever, following our company. We are the biggest company of uh, the entire wrestling world, basically, with our brand new name rebranded World Extreme Championship right after we basically bought WWF. I never thought that in my second year or slash third year, we would already be like uh, the best company in there. But I guess having five star pay-per-views every single time definitely helps you out. That's for sure. And uh, WCW is now the other one that we need to uh, be able to buy out. Uh, once we buy them out, if we don't have any more competition, boys, I mean, it's pretty much the end of it all, right? We did everything we uh, were supposed to be doing. So uh, we still are working on Goldberg's work rate and everything. Uh, Trish is still out for another two months. Uh, we have uh, all our champions right here uh, available to us. So we're just going to go ahead and book the next pay-per-view already. We're going to hop on in. We've got four events, uh, all positive. So submission, ladder, I quit, and Ironman match. They're all upwards. They, we can all do them... Um, uh, anytime we want so we should probably do those uh, since we are in May it looks like uh, it's just gonna be a normal pay-per-view and stuff like that so the first one that we want to do is obviously the WEC uh, heavyweight championship our main uh, championship do we want uh, a main one uh, uh, a multi-man match it doesn't seem like it it's gonna be a singles one so we're gonna start off a few for, for Rob Van Dam he's a heel right now do we want to place him? Uh, we want to place him against the face. So I would say Roddy Piper would be a great choice. Uh, anybody else that would be a great choice? Well, I'd say Eddie Guerrero would be an even, even better choice, to be honest. He's 100% overness right now as well. Uh, we've got El Generico, but he's a neutral. Uh, Jake Roberts is a heel. I mean, it's telling me to go for Jake Roberts right now. They're literally telling me to go for it. Let's do it. Let's do it, even though it's the, like it's minus 10 alignment. The thing is, it, it says that it's super heated between these two. So I think uh, I think we should probably do old and champion. Would be great, man, because all or nothing, right? Or heel versus heel only monster. Uh, previous title feud, last shot. Oh, that would be great. So challenge it with you, do whatever it takes to do one final shot at the title. That sounds fun. There's a lot of them, but uh, you know what? There's a lot of good ones right here, but I think I want to go for monster or only monster. So uh, we'll see. That's That seems to be a really good one, a really good feud. So we're going to feud them up together. Uh, next up is the Brock Lesnar vs. Stone Cold feud right here for the, the World Championship. It's going to be a singles match, uh, big time. This one I forgot. I do want to add a gimmick match to it. We're just going to do... We can't do elimination, it wouldn't make sense, so let's just do a simple uh, false count anywhere match. Uh, this is a singles match as well, okay. What about the uh, World Television Championship match? It's going to be a singles as well, so now we got to find ourselves a face as well, just like that. Uh, any faces in here? It looks like the only face available to us is Gail Kim, so Gail Kim is going to have to uh, to go for it, I guess. Do we have anybody? Okay, so I guess we're going to have to uh, add a feud between these two. Uh, young versus old. Let's do that. And we are going to add a gimmick match to that. Uh, we can't do an elimination again. So TLC match could be fantastic. We do got to remember that these are types of matches that could help out quite a lot. So maybe we want to do that as well. Uh, last but not least, Beth Phoenix. She's got to defend her title. Is it going to be in a multi-man match? No, it's a singles match as well. A lot of singles match. So um, whoever is more, the more deserving right now, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, Medusa was the previous champ. Uh, we, we, we got her as an option. So she's 85 of overness. Lita is super over though. A hundred percent. Anybody else? Mickey James, 98. I think uh, that's pretty much it, right? I mean, Gail Kim's in there. I guess oh, it's because Trish Stratus is injured. Is that because of it? But I think Alita is the most valuable one by far, boys, for sure. So we're just going to do a feud between these two. Add a feud. 
Uh, which one do we want to do? Previous champ. This is uh, that's my title. This is our own. Let's just do that's my title, boys. Uh, go. So that uh, that's what we got. For the rest, we're just gonna do like usual quality matches, uh, book auto booking and stuff like that. So they only did this. Ooh, all right. So we're just gonna remove the feud then. So they only did the uh, decided to this match right here. We are gonna add a gimmick. It's gonna be a TLC. Uh, we already did the TLC. Let's just do an Iron Man match. There I go, just like that. So Iron Man match for that one. And for the rest, I guess it's just gonna be a bunch of uh, a, a really big one. How about we do um, a big time battle royale? We could do a battle royale, boys. I, I'm feeling like doing it. Gimmick match, uh, battle royale, there we go. Battle Royale, uh, 30 opponents, I don't know, I don't know about that one. You know, I, I, I think, um, how many opponents left, hold on. Let's undo the gimmick thing. All right, so let's undo everything. Uh, let, me make sure, let me see, so 3, 6, 9, 10, uh, 12, 14, 16, 17 opponents. All right, so now we know how many. So we just want to, we want to go for... All of them right here that are available. So every single one of them. Every single one of them that are available right now. We're just going to put them all into a big pile of... Uh, you can't uh, select more than 10 superstars. Well, for Battle Royale, that's not true. Yeah, so that's not true for Battle Royale. So we're just going to select um, 17. 17 of them. Because that's how much they, there is left. So most popular randomness i'm just gonna auto pick i'm just gonna pick myself so um who the who is not wrestling right now is rick rick flair is wrestling sting is he wrestling right now he is not so sting is not wrestling eddie is not wrestling as well we've got uh ricky ricky is wrestling uh kurt enning let me just uh choose everybody that's not wrestling right now all right, I got everyone, boys. Everyone, the 17 wrestlers uh, that I've got right now, all in the Battle Royale. We're going to do that. Boom! Big time Battle Royale right here. We're going to just put it right before the World Television, uh, right after the World Television and before the World Championship. So that's going to be a big time Battle Royale. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, it's going to give the opportunity for a lot of people to, uh, to get their chance right here. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to book everyone that way. I guess that's what the AI wanted to do uh, uh, then. Let's just do a uh, main event package. It's so good now. You can see how good it is. It's at maxed out basically. Main event. Let's just do that. There we go. Edit out. Okay, nope. Uh, next thing. It's, uh, it's not a new feud. So we don't want to do a feud package or anything. What do we want to do here? Maybe a promo battle, right? A promo battle could be great. Do We, we don't have any new wrestlers or anything. So I'm thinking just a comeback or, you know what, a return package. I want to do a return package for, uh, I guess, Trish Stratus. A return package for Trish Stratus would be great, boys. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. And we're going to put it uh, during the middle, like right after, I I'd say right after the, uh, the, the, the big match or anything. Let's just do a return package for Trish Stratus right in the middle of it. Uh, of it all and since we don't have anything else going on we could do a promo battle for a feud an ongoing feud or something like that we could literally do that or we could just simply do the next event boost the uh, boost the next event up or something i think i'm just going to do a promo battle it's better off that way let's just do for feuds promo battle uh we only have for these two guys. Alright, let's just do a promo battle between Brock Lesnar and Stone Cold Boys. Just like that. And we're going to put that right before their, their match, I guess. Where's their match? Right here. Okay, so I guess. You know what? Let's just do a return package after the Women's Championship. Let's do a return package for uh, Trish Stratus and stuff. I think we're good. I think that's perfect as it is. That took me a while to, uh, to just get this pay-per-view done. But it's done now. Hardcore Heaven, first pay-per-view of the day, boys. Let's find out. So they want Jake Roberts to conserve, uh, to win the title, to be the new champ. They want Brock Lesnar to win the title as well. And uh, they want Keji Muto and Beth Phoenix to retain. Okay, that's interesting. 
So they wanted uh, Beth Phoenix to retain. I'm I'm pushing her anyways, so it, it was gonna happen anyways. Uh, we are gonna do a screw job finish just because it's the beginning of the feud for them. So let's uh, let's uh, let's make it our way. Screw job finish, pretty good match overall. Beth Phoenix wins uh, over Lita. It's gonna really uh, help her out tremendously since Lita is super over right now, uh, super over big time. Okay, so that's that return package right afterwards for. Uh, Trish Stratus, uh, just hyper up, up, hyper eventual return up. Uh, what about um, Kejimuro versus Gail Kim? They wanted, Chris, uh, the fans want Kejimuro to retain. I can't do a screw job finish anymore. So let's just give him a straight up win. Just like that, four and a half star match, boys. It's decent enough, decent enough. He doesn't have a lot of charisma though. So I, I still don't know why the fans wanted him as a champ. Uh, it's super strange because he's not super popular or anything, right? He's not really over. He doesn't have charisma or anything. It's just interesting that the fans wanted him to win and everything. But, uh, I mean, it is what it is. All right. Big time battle royale moment. 95 for, uh, of hype. Uh, big time uh, hype situation right here. We got to obviously choose whoever's the least over. So let's choose really quick. Uh, Goldberg's the least over, it seems like right now. He might be the lucky dude. Yeah, I think he might be the lucky dude. We got a 44% for Justin G Credible. 43% for Goldberg, though. So Goldberg's getting that huge boost, boys. He's getting a huge boost. I'm not going to do any squash or anything. He's just going to get the straight up win. So Goldberg gets the win, boys. It's good. It's really good uh, match. It's a five and a half star match. So really good one, and Goldberg just gets a massive bonus for uh, morale, popularity, and everything. Just because he, he just defeated 16 other opponents, boys. Where did he enter, though? Goldberg, where did he enter? Uh, eliminated, entered number 14. So he, he basically entered dead last almost, so that's, that's interesting. All right, so that's pretty much that promo battle. Brock Lesnar in the ring. Stone Cold guaranteed the expo to expose the worst of Brock Lesnar. Pretty good uh, promo overall. Pretty good promo for the actual feud. And now we're on to the actual match itself. They wanted Brock Lesnar to become the new champ. So, so, f so much for uh, Stone Cold being a champ. He's already going to lose the title to Brock Lesnar. And uh, Brock, I guess what we can do is just throw in... No, we can't do that. That would mean that he would uh, go somewhere else. So let's just... We can't do anything else. Let's just give up the straight up win to Brock Lesnar, boys. Brock Lesnar wins straight up. Five star match. Pretty good. That allows uh, Brock Lesnar and Stone Cold to have some to go up in stats and everything. Both of them. So really good for them. Next up, throw away match between Ric Flair and Rick, uh, Ricky Steamboat. Basically 40 of hype. Iron Man match. Uh, let's see. So they, who's get the least overness? Ricky Steamboat is the least over. So we're just going to give him the win, boys, obviously. So that means just throw in the towel for Ric Flair. And Ricky Steamboat gets the win via that. Smooth performances on top of throwing the towel allows us to almost have a six-star uh, six match right there. Fantastic uh, match between these two. You'd like to see that. Main event package. Boom, 90% uh, effectiveness could have been better. Our heavyweight, our main event. Uh, Rob Van Dam is supposed to lose the title now. He's been only champ for one month, but he needs to reduce the title to uh, Jake Roberts, apparently. So uh, that's uh, there's that. Switch alliances, nope. So I guess it's time for Jake Roberts to win, boys. Win back the title once more. Boom, just like that. Wins the title back. Four and a half star. Uh, pretty decent. It could have been better, uh, but uh, both of them ended up having good stats from that, so I'm not too mad about it. So that's the pay-per-view itself, boys. So Jake Roberts is now our heavyweight champion. That's good enough for another five-star pay-per-view. So uh, really good, man. We're just having great matches on top of each other every single time. You can't ask for more than that, that's for sure. As you can see, we obviously had the most uh, uh, people... Or a tendency in the in the arena and stuff like that. So obviously we got uh, we gained almost 1k 100k fans once again. Uh, WCW is now starting to lose fans, so that's good for us, man. Car, continue to lose fans. I'm gonna be able to buy you out as well. Have you ever dreamed of Martians? 
Okay, last night I had a pretty weird dream about them. They were all green and they looked so scared. Like they were being abused. I tried to help them, they just ran away. I wonder if it all meant anything. Jeff, I think you're just on drugs or something. I mean, you do have a history with drugs. I don't know. That, maybe that's just me. Alright, so uh, we've got all of that. June right here. We're up to June. It's time to go look. Uh, Trisha is going gonna, gonna to be back for uh, in a month. It's time to go look and do the indies and um, go look if we uh, for a new wrestler for the next uh, uh, next time, boys. So let me just do that really quick. And Paul Eamon's actually a thing now. I didn't know Paul Eamon was actually in there. He's injured though. Well, we got we got two uh, Paul Eamons though. That means we just got two Paul Eamon in the game then. I've got my own and they've got theirs. All right, so what we're gonna do then, uh, since Paul Eamon is actually a thing, we're gonna release him, boys. He's not the real deal, so we're releasing him big time. Let's one last manager in there. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna add uh, the real Paul Eamon. This guy, this is the real Paul Eamon. We're gonna add him as the manager and stuff like that. That's that's what we need to do. So. Let's add him up, boys. Now that's going to be the real Paul Eamon actually being a manager. So that's, I guess that's who's going to be joining our roster for the next, uh, the next time. That's interesting, boys. All right. So first match, we got to choose obviously heavyweight championship. He's already in a feud with uh, Rob Van Dam. On uh, first uh, feud right there, very the start of it. It is going to be a multi-man match. It looks like we got so many man eventers. Most of my wrestlers are man eventers now. Uh, we've got a heel and a face, uh, so, or two heels against each other. Maybe put a face in there uh, somewhere would be great. Maybe put uh, Stone Cold, I can't put him in. He's already in the feud against um, Brock Lesnar. So maybe put like someone like uh, Roddy Piper would be great. We're going to put Roddy Piper in there. There we go. It's a multi-man match. Uh, the last multi-man match. Uh, I don't, I'm not entirely sure what it was, but we're just going to do a triple threat right here. Just do a, a triple threat between these three. That's uh, going to be fantastic. So that's what we're, uh, what it's going to be. It's going to be a, a normal match or anything. We're not going to add anything to it. Uh, next up, it's Brock Lesnar, of course. So Brock Lesnar versus Stone Cold. We are going to blow off that feud for this match. But is it going to be a multi-man? It looks like it's going to be a multi-man as well. We got already a face and a heel. I want two neutrals in here. So let's just pick up two neutrals really quick. We're going to pick Ric Flair and we're going to pick whoever's the most over right now. So we got El Generico is the most over. There we go. So that's uh, a fatal four way. There we go. Just like that, boys. Picking up it, uh, picking it up like that. And it is going to have a special stipulation into it. So uh, last time was a TLC or was an Iron Man match which was in the middle right here so we're just going to do a still sell uh, yeah we can do a still sell no problem right here so just add a still sell match do we want uh, to do an actual where well, we're going to add the feud up first we do want a, a multi-man match as well so let's add a multi-man match boys whoever's the most popular uh, wrestlers right now so Medusa for sure We've got, uh, who's the other one right here? It's going to be a fatal five way. So I think the most popular is Edge. After that would be CM Punk for sure, I, I believe. Unless it's somebody better than that. No, I, I think it's CM Punk, boys. So CM Punk uh, versus uh, is getting in there as well. So that's going to be the five way match right there. We're getting a lot of uh, big time matches. Uh, add a gimmick match for sure. It was a steel cell, so it's going to be a ladder match. There we go. Is that uh, one of the bonuses? It's not. Tables and submission and Iron Man match are, are the biggest one. But uh, let's do uh, now Beth Phoenix's match versus Lita. Is it going to be a multi? No, it's just a singles match for this one. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and, uh, and do uh, just a single regular match. It looks like nothing to it. Uh, outside of that next up booking quality matches let's see what the ai decides to do uh they decide to bring in two matches uh from that so we're gonna put that one in here Kurt Henning versus ricky and uh sting versus chris versus eddie now we are gonna add some gimmick matches here and there i think iron man match is super popular let's do an iron man match again 
which one is popular as well? Tables match. We definitely do want to do a tables match for that one. So uh, last, uh, last time was a, a ladder match. We want to skip straight up. Uh, we want uh, actually still cage. Seems like a good one anyways. There we go. We're going to do that. And last but not least, it looks like we're just going to go, uh, go do this right here. Just a simple, uh, simple match right there. Once again, all these guys facing against each other. What we're going to do right here is we're going to do a non-sanctioned match. Would be very great. So let's just do a non-sanctioned match. There we go. So unsanctioned match between all of these guys. And uh, that sounds perfect as it is. Let's go for segments. Let's go for the main event uh, package as well. Like uh, usually, uh, the usual show, like the usual boys. So main event package right there. Uh, we got a new feud going. So let's up it up a little bit. So one of the two feuds right here. Or one of the three feuds. Which one uh, do we need to upgrade the most? It's this one. So I'm going to upgrade, uh, gonna upgrade this, one, uh, this one right here. And uh, the last but not least, the other one. We don't want to do another feud package. I guess we can do a promo battle. We can do another promo battle, boys. And this time around for uh, Beth Phoenix versus Lita. There we go. Just do a promo battle between these two. And uh, that's my title. So right before the match. There we go. Perfect. Let's hop on into the pay-per-view, boys. We're good to go right here. So Hostile City Showdown. Good to go. Let's start it up. Jake Robert. They want Jake Roberts to retain the title. Stone Cold to win the title. CM Punk to win and uh beth phoenix to win all right so that's what they want a promo battle that's my title not a good promo battle at all it actually was a really bad promo and that means that uh it went down big time for lita and stuff like that Oof. that hurt the the feud up actually that promo battle was horrible oh well it is what it, we're trying stuff boys you can't always get it right uh, Lita versus Beth Phoenix. So they want Beth Phoenix to win. It doesn't matter because we're already pushing her anyways. Do we have anything else but screw job? We don't. So let's just do regular finish for Beth Phoenix. Gets the win. Four and a half star kind of. And both of them get bonuses from that. So at least uh, Lita's gaining some overness from that as well. That's good for her. Our morale is going down though. Our morale is definitely going down. So we got to watch out for that. Uh, so there it is. Just like that. So Biffy Nix conserves her title. Now six uh, or eight weight in on section match between all of them. I think we're just gonna do Goldberg. I think we're uh, we're we're gonna see where we uh, want to land. Who's the least over right now? It's definitely it's definitely X Pac. X Pac is definitely the one that's the least over. So we're just gonna give him the win. Bing bam boom just like that. Really good match. Five star. With uh, added to the blood, uh, so some blood on Mickey James's part, right there. So fantastic! We everybody gained from that popularity from that, and uh, X Pac is gonna be super happy about that. It's gaining a lot of popularity, so that's uh, really good for him. And Goldberg's work rate increased by level two, boys. So he's a better wrestler just from that. That's that's good. Uh, really good. Feud package for these two. And uh, now it's time for the actual title. They they wanted CM Punk to win the title, right? Yeah, they wanted CM Punk to be the new champ, boy. So we'll give them what they want, I guess. They want CM Punk to be the champ. Kajimuto has been champ for two months. I think we're good. So let's just get CM Punk the win. And CM Punk gets the title, boys. He's a new world television champion. Congrats to him. He uh, almost a uh, five-star match. Almost. Uh, it's a pretty decent one. Now we're going to triple threat steel cage match between Eddie, Chris, and uh, Sting. Whoever's the least over right now, it seems like it's Chris. So Chris is going to get the win. Really good match, which ups them up as well in terms of value. Really good. Everybody gains from that. Fantastic. Last but not least, the world championship match. It's actually not the last one. So it's one of the few ones. The world championship match uh, between Stone Cold, the former champ, Brock Lesnar, the new champ, Ric Flair and Sami Zayn added to it. Let's see uh, really quick. They wanted, if I remember properly, I think they wanted Stone Cold to win, right? I think they wanted Stone Cold to win. Now, Brock Lesnar has been the only champion for one month. At, the, at some point, the world title has got to stop moving around, right? We got to have a, 
a champ that's at least there for three months or something you know boys it's it, it's gotta stay there so uh, I'm just gonna I don't know feel like switching uh, switching uh, all the time between the to the champions and stuff I feel like it's kind of rough well, we'll give it to whoever wins I guess right there Brock Lesnar all right Brock Lesnar gets the win all right good I mean I'm just gonna start simulating again because at some point you know the champs gotta be able to conserve the title so Brock Lesnar conserves the title better entrance blow off finish five star match pretty good uh iron man match once again between Kurt Danny, uh, Mr. Perfect and uh, Ricky Steamboat Ricky Steamboat needs to win that match or to give him the win there we go four star match basically it's decent I mean it could they should have better matches between the two of them but it's not connecting I don't know boys I don't know why it's not connecting main event package 100% effectiveness really good for the feud itself uh, triple threat match it's time to see if Jake Roberts is going to retain the title or not boys I am not sure let's just uh, simulate real quick and Rob Van Dam becomes the champ once again slow start to the beginning of the match which uh, brings him down to a four star match unfortunately very unfortunate that one kind of a a bad finish to uh, a pay-per-view but there's not a lot we can do about that to be honest so rob van dam wins back the title i don't know how uh, like how many times he's been champ now but uh, i'm pretty sure he's the most he's been the champ before most times so our ch the championship the prestige of the championship has decreased because it keeps switching around details yeah the rating the champion uh, itself went up, but the reigning is, yeah, I don't know, boys. The reign is just not good enough. He was champion for one month, uh, Jake Roberts. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I guess that's just how it goes sometimes. One of our weakest pay-per-view right there, four, not even four and a half. So we could have done much better. Still didn't hurt us or anything, but uh, we are expecting a lot better out of the show for us. That's for sure. So. Uh, there we go. We still have the best show uh, in there. Paul Eamon released. We already know that. Then uh, let's just see really quick. We do have Paul Eamon, the real one, coming up. Uh, we're going to have him as a manager. Uh, Goldberg is now complete. His work rate uh, skills are now complete. Matt Jackson is available. Trish Trazis is back. She gets a bonus of overness. There he is, Paul Eamon. We're going to add him up uh, already for Brock Lesnar. CM Punk and medusa like it was previously we're gonna add him up already so he's already assigned as the manager for these guys that's perfect i don't know why he was a wrestler uh i, I actually legit don't know why he was a wrestler but he's not gonna be back for another eight months he's actually injured boys so that's a severe injury right there for him if wave so we're coming we're gonna be uh in july now for our biggest pay-per-view of the year eat wave boys it's going to be interesting. Sting has two wins in a row. He's got a streak going on. Rob Van Dam, the same. Lead out the same, boys. So it's going to be very interesting. A big time um, effect bonus for uh, the gimmick match tail sell. So that's very interesting as well. So we'll see uh, what happens in the next video. Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys uh, for the next one. Keep it easy.